I tapped the mic. That's okay. We're, we're, <gasps> we're, 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 we have we're, to start over, Frank. Back to one. <laughs> uh oh, back to number one. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. Okay, so when it comes to commercials, promos, trailers, narration, live announce, animation, motion capture, video games, these guests know all about it. They're here from SBV Talent. They are rock star agents. We're so excited to have them. And guess what? We're getting buzzed with Cynthia McLean and Jessica Bulofsky. Woo! <laughs> We Welcome. are so excited. This has taken a like a century to get you guys here. It is. Unbelievable. You're like a fine wine. It's worth the wait. Right? I had, Look I had them. a They're baby. You, I, I know. We, we asked of, you when you didn't you even want kids. And then we asked you after you had kids. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank by you. the way. That's fantastic. Um, That's a good and, excuse. Uh, it's so great because through the years, you know, I, I, I've been producing demos now for like almost 30 years, literally. And through the years, we've talked on the phone. We've had all kinds of conversations. You've referred people to me. I've referred people to you. And I feel like I know you guys so well. And this is really the first time that we actually are going to sit down and have like this mm -hmm. in-depth talk. Right. I love it. I'm so, so yeah. excited. So yeah. are we. Thanks yes, for having thank us. You. Um, we are Honored that you came. Um, Thank you. So let's just dive in because it's late. It's like midnight. No, um, <laughs> it's, it's late. So it's been a long day. But um, what can talent expect from an agent and what should they not expect from an agent? Yeah, I love that question. <laughs> but is this a talent that we actually represent or talent that don't know what it means to have an agent? Because it's two different. Can we well, get how both, about both, actually? Absolutely. Yeah, because yeah. we yeah. have both of take. those watching the show. Talent that we represent or talent that want to be? Talent that we represent. Can you so um, what should talent that we represent expect from their agent? They should expect opportunities, mm -hmm. auditions, um, first and foremost. They should expect that their agents have an understanding and knowledge of the union codes, um, they should have an understanding of contracts, um, agreements, how to negotiate. Mm -hmm. They should expect that their agents um, are doing outreach and looking for new business as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. are for them specifically or just in general for all for the roster? For for the roster, for, yeah. right. for yeah. our, all of the talent that cool. what are represent. what are for the talent you represent? What are expectations? Because isn't it all about managing our expectations? What are things that that are really not in the jurisdiction for the agent talent relationship? Hmm. Well, we're not managers, right? So it's important to remember that managers probably represent a much smaller group of people, yep. mm -hmm. so they can focus more intently on what's best for the specific actor's career overall. Right. Well, truthfully, we are a small agency and we're, we kind of behave like managers in that we want to see the big picture. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, Jess and I, we work with several agents and we'll talk about an actor like, is that the right opportunity for them or, or should we not? Do it. Oh, Including, that's good. Mm -hmm. Because we have an on-camera commercial department as well. Right, right. So if we represent someone in both, we'll make sure that maybe they're better suited. Maybe they're going to get an on-camera campaign, and we don't want to mm -hmm. put them on a Southern California Honda dealer or something like that. Right, so, right. So we do look at the overall career, but not like a manager would. Right. Exactly. Right. Collaborative as a team. Which is yeah, fantastic. Yeah, you guys are an amazing team. Yeah, absolutely. You really are. Thank you. And, and we work at it. No, and, and the do. word on the street, I mean, SBV. Absolutely. I mean, top of the top, man. You guys, I mean, everybody knows that. You gals so that's and good. parents, you guys <laughs> yeah. don't mess around. I mean, you really are such male. a team. You do? We, we do. do. Yeah. Matthew Weiss is a promo agent. Oh, SBV. right on. He's new this year. But yeah. Way to go, Matthew. Matthew. Very cool. Congrats, Matt. Yay. <laughs> um, that's really cool. So, so what about talent that you don't represent. So, so generally, what should they expect from, exactly. from an agent? It does come down to op 
opportunities because that's our, our fiduciary responsibility. Yeah. So any reputable agent's responsibility is to maintain a good relationship in the industry and maintain mm -hmm. a strong brand so that the buyers want to do business with that agent. Yeah. So an actor should expect that the agents that they're interviewing or, or want to be represented by have a good reputation. And that's a good one. That's a great um, point. They, I, I think that's... That's super important. And then if you, if you get a meeting with an agent, what you should expect from that meeting is that that agent wants to know who you are and do your expectations and the agent's expectations expectations of what your career can look like or mm -hmm. who you are match. Because mm -hmm. if they don't, if you're coming in and you're saying, oh, well, they're, it's SBV, but I didn't really jive with them, but they want to represent me, so I should go with them. No, you shouldn't. Because yeah. if, if you don't think we get you, we're not going to get you. So you right. want to go with, with an agent. And of course, yeah. we're fabulous, so we'll get you. But you want, <laughs> you want to make sure, because it's, yeah. it's a partnership. It's a, yeah, it's a relationship. Yeah. It's a business relationship, but yeah. it's also creative because mm -hmm. we're in your life. You know, exactly. We know when yeah. you're having babies or, you know, when, we know when, when stuff's going on and you want to know that your agent really understands your life yeah. and your goals. Now, Those are amazing things to consider because I think completely. when people think, oh, I got the meeting, so I have to. And I think that people mm -hmm. forget that you guys really, you're entering into a major relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So much about yeah. the what fit. Are, what yeah. are a few yeah. things that somebody can do to prepare for that meeting so that you actually have a good meeting? Good question. Know right? thyself. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, obviously, if, if um, well, before the meeting, we, we would have listened to a demo. Of course. So, mm -hmm. um, um, but I would say at the meeting, come prepared with um, questions for us. Um, and, um, uh, you know, um, ideas of where perhaps you think you fit. Mm -hmm. um, um, if it's for promo, if it's networks that you feel like um, you would be a, a good fit for, mm -hmm. um, if there are, um, we also like to know if there are workshops that you've taken or producers or casting directors that you've worked with, things like that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And will they be thrown or escorted, <laughs> escorted. <laughs> into a booth to maybe read? Maybe. For a booth director to find out if they can actually do what yeah. they we we will tell you if if your meeting is going to include what we call a general, mm -hmm. so you will be prepared for that. Usually, um, we want to. Yeah, and and you are right. The sole purpose for that is to make sure that what's on your demo is true to your skill level mm -hmm. and that you're able to take direction. Exactly because. Demos aren't necessarily truth in advertising. True. And so we want to yeah. know that. Yeah. And yeah. We also want to know that you can take direction because you might be doing an Australian German Shepherd on your demo, and that sounds fabulous, but we want to know can you tone that down with mm -hmm. a director and make it sound like an Australian poodle? Mm -hmm. So that's real important for oh, us. She's talking yeah. about animation, folks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are the times that you're going to have yes, to do an Australian but poodle. Can uh, you make the, the Australian poodle conversational? Yeah. That's, that's the real thing. Chewy's is casting okay. a campaign yeah. and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That dog sounds too much like a hamburger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put some mustard on it. Exactly. That's hysterical. So, somebody comes in, they've had a great meeting, maybe even a general, okay? Um, you're still not letting them know, hey, you're definitely in or not. Um, wh how, what, what's appropriate for them to follow up with you? How long should they wait? Is there, you know, an appropriate amount of time where it's cool for them to say, hey, what's up? That, that's an interesting question. I, we, for the most part, um, will talk about you, the talent, um, behind your back pretty much right after you've left our office. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um, um, sometimes maybe there are things that come up over the next day or, or additional questions that we might have where um, we would follow up with the talent ourselves. But, but I would say within 
we know within 24 hours. We know before you've left if we're going to yeah. offer you representation unless yeah. there's a question that is unknown that didn't come up. Exactly. So I can't remember a time where a talent has had to follow back up right. with us yeah. about whether or not we're accepting or we're offering them representation yeah. or not. Yeah. So unless, if it's a thank unless you, you didn't want to sign them. Right. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, then we still we would, let them know. We would tell them. Yeah, yeah we do. Yeah. yeah. So even if it's a thank you so much for the meeting, chances are they've heard from you. Yeah. Way. Well, sometimes we do get an email before we've had a chance to get back to them because we do, like Jess said, we'll talk about you behind your back as soon as you leave. Um, but we may not, we might get a phone call or, you know, something comes up. Right. And so well, we might get an email Right away, saying thank yeah. you so much. It was great meeting you. Yeah, and that's that's, that's, that's the really one nice. thing that yeah. I always tell people. That's man, always is, is that, just common you know, courtesy. Absolutely, you go in and you meet with you know a power agent such as you guys, and you guys are busy. I mean, your your job requirement is not oh I listen to demos all meetings. day. Yeah. That's not what you do to make money and to make money for your clients. So yeah. a lot of people don't understand that you have to just be cool and just sit still mm -hmm. and you're going to get a response either way in the next few days from the meeting yeah, right exactly definitely. so just yeah, be cool yeah. so when you're listening either of you listening to a demo what do you need to hear in order for you to go like ooh this this is valuable to me mm -hmm. as as an agent or for my agency well it needs to be um it, i need to hear that the talent knows what they're doing and that they understand what it means to have a professional demo. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, it, and and it doesn't necessarily have to be um, all, you know, big production value or anything like that, but um, it need, I need to be able to hear their voice. I need to, if, they ha if there are, are real spots on there, obviously that's ideal. We would like to hear a sampling of their actual work mm -hmm. that they've um, done. Um, what else? For when I'm listening, which could be commercial, could be animation, could be interactive, it's remarkable how much bad advice people get on, yeah. on making a demo. There's no right way to start out your first three to five seconds, but that's all you get with me. Yeah. If I don't hear what I consider professional, within the first three to five seconds, I'm not going to keep listening mm -hmm. unless the person who referred you to me raved about you. Right. One of my then busiest you got eight and seconds. most talented, yeah. maybe. You get eight seconds. One of my busiest, most talented actors um, has been with me from the beginning at this agency. So that's since 92. Um, had a horrible demo. But the referrals were so strong. Mm -hmm. So, fortunately, <laughs> right, fortunately, right. I listened to the referrals, but yeah. the demo was just bad. Yeah. So, fast forward to today. If if I were listening to a demo right now, is it your signature voice or is it your most unique voice that nobody else is doing? Of course, that doesn't exist because there's no exactly. new voice right. under I mean, that's the like sun. Crazy. Right. But. I tend to want to hear the signature voice per first because I want to know who you are. And then if you have a broad range, then I want to, the second snippet to be, you know, very different. Mm -hmm. I listen for people who trust themselves. So they're not doing Daffy Duck or, you know, characters that someone's already doing those. <laughs> right. That's a so great point. Right. Don't, yeah. don't do what's already being done. Don't do Bart Simpson. You know, it doesn't, mm -hmm. it's just not. It's not valuable. It might be valuable for a one-off on um, a Jimmy Fallon skit or something yeah. like that, right. but it's not a career. Yeah. So someone already has that. Career. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, the production value is important, but it, but I I want to be able to hear the that the actor knows what they're doing and they've got acting skill. For me, it's all about acting skill. So Absolutely. so within that first three to five seconds, you can hear the confidence, right? You can hear yes. it. Yeah. The believability, the authenticity. I think uh, along the same lines of what Cynthia was saying, you know, don't do not do Daffy Duck or Bart Simpson. Um, don't choose a, a super high profile show on a major broadcast network um, as the first piece of your 
promo demo because as a promo agent, I'm going to hear it and I already know who the voice is that is doing that show. So to yeah. me, it's um, it's not it's not putting you haven't done your homework exactly as a talent. A mistake that a lot of people make wanting to get into the business because this conversation could be about people who are in the business, sure. who want to transition into the business or know nothing about the business, but a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that they should make a demo right away. Right. Mm. And that's like, if I wanted to, um, I'm going to tell you guys, you know, I'm, I'm going to quit being an agent and I want to be a concert pianist, so I'm going to go buy a Wur Wurlitzer or whatever. You're you going to buy a yeah. piano. Yeah. <laughs> Book your yeah. concert date at Carnegie Hall. Yeah, <laughs> right. For the end of the month. Right. Is your calendar <laughs> open? Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. You know, it's a profession, it's a career, and a demo has to be an accurate representation of, of who you are, and you shouldn't right. make it if you're not ready to go to work. Yeah. So we, we do represent a few people who aren't even in the union yet because they're fresh out of college, but mm -hmm. they're brilliant. That was going to be my next question. We yeah. Want, yeah. We want to yeah. help nurture that and yeah. grow that. We expect them to strive to getting into the union as quickly as they can. They do that by doing extra work or, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, we we have grown a lot of careers. Uh, and you have. Yes. But yes. let's talk about that real quick because a lot of people out there um, always ask the question of like, you know, okay, well, if I want an L.A. agent and I, and I live in L.A., mm -hmm. most of them, the big ones, like you guys, are union agencies, but they're not union yet, you know, even if I'm great, you know they're not gonna uh, they're not gonna want to meet with me because I'm not union. So you just said that that's not necessarily true. Correct. If you see promising talent there, mm -hmm. you might take a chance on somebody mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. and maybe will they get full on signed or will they be hip pocketed mm -hmm. or full on signed? Full on signed. And if union stuff comes in that they're perfect for, yeah. will they still be able to read on Oh, absolutely. That? We audition them on everything. And then Beautiful. we have to put the little TH next to their name, yes. which means they're a Taft-Hartley. Taft -Hartley. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So um, nobody wants a TH next to their name because that suggests that um, the producer has to do a little extra paperwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right. if you're brand new and there's a TH next to your name and you're reading against someone who's audition is just as good as the TH person. They're probably not going to go with the TH person mm. to get the shorthand. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. No, no, totally. And, um, Unless the TH person totally just, rocks. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And that, uh, that's, of course, our hope. Yeah. Right. It tends to be that most people get into the union through other avenues. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then yeah. they call us up and say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm SAG eligible now. Yeah. And yeah. then we don't have to do the TH That's beautiful. Yeah. Good. Hey, you guys are learning today. This we is good. We were all a TH at I one know, point. I know, right? Everybody was a TH. Everybody was a TH. Was a TH. <laughs> <laughs> um, so say someone is fortunate enough to be signed at SPV. Um, what are some things that, ta that your actors can do to help you guys as agents? Mm, I love that Serve question. Serve This is your opportunity, by yeah. the way, to mm -hmm. <laughs> talk to all those people that yes. don't pay attention. Uh, I'm on my soapbox right now. Uh -huh. Please, stand <laughs> tall, Cynthia. I only represent one performer who sends me a contract after her session. So that makes me crazy. Sends you a contract after? Most of my actors do not send me contracts from their sessions. If they're receiving right. them at the session. Yeah. They're at the session. They do their work. They sign it. They don't send it to right. me. Right. And all they have to do is take a picture of it. Right. I beg for contracts. Because if you've, in my world, animation or interactive, if you've been hired to do three voices, I'm going to expect a certain amount of dollars to of come course. in. Mm -hmm. If you don't do three voices, they only do two. The check comes in. It's for not as much as I'm expecting. I have to waste my talent payment department's time hunting down for that third voice that you didn't do. Yeah. Right. So it really pisses me off. Um, okay, I'm off my soapbox now. <laughs> no, no, but this is good. But that's because a, that's a waste you said of earlier time. about yeah. knowing your business, learning yeah. your business. You know, don't just be a voice actor. Help by knowing the right. business and be how it's structured person. and how it works yeah. so to make everybody's life easier. And if you do that for Cynthia, you just <laughs> may get more auditions. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Um, and the other thing that w helps is be in the union. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do everything you possibly can to be in the union. And yeah. we were talking about this because this comes up a lot because, you know, as, as we all work in the same room. And so I'll maybe be in a frustrating moment because somebody hasn't done what I want them to do. And I hang up the phone. I, and then then we'll talk about, right. well, you know, what happened and what can we do about asking that performer to maybe not ask us to move their session time. Right. Mm-hmm. Because they have a doctor's appointment, right? Um, it's communication, yeah. yeah. And and if you're not available, book out. You know, yes. Let us know that you're yes. not available. Or if if you've booked out, but you're actually really not booked out, you don't really want us to pass on work for you. Tell us that. Say I'm booked out, but I'll accept work. Yes. That way you know where they're coming from. Because you guys are going to do whatever they tell yeah, you to do. Yeah. You know, you're there for them. You're, you're there to help. Communication is the key. Yeah. yeah. It really is. It really is. is. It's so important. It solves so many. And it wastes yeah. so much time. Jessica, any pet peeves? Well, I, I just actually <laughs> want to, on, on that note of so communication. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, take out the list. <laughs> um, on that note of communication, something that I really like is um, if you're a talent and you are skimming the trades or you are watching television and you or you hear about a show that's coming up and it's something that really speaks to you and you just think, you know what, this I, I want to do this, I can do this. Or, you know, you read some news in, in like I said, in the trades or something like that. I, I would love for our talent and, and I welcome that from our talent. Bring that to me. Yeah. And let me know that this is something that speaks to you that you're interested in. And let's go after it. So um, I love working with our talent in that way. We all do, I think. Yeah. As, as a we, we consider it a, a partnership. It's it's We are a team. Mm-hmm. Um, to, yeah, and, being proactive, I think, is really important for the talent. Yeah. And, you know, we, we can't just sit around going, oh, waiting for the phone or the emails to buzz. Yeah. You know? and, and a willingness to say yes. A willingness to be ready and prepared Mm -hmm. so that if, for example, you know, you're, you don't have a a home studio, maybe you don't have an ISDN set up yet, um, but you know where the closest studio is, you have their number at the ready, you know what their capabilities are, so that when the call comes in that says, we've got a booking for you and they want you in a half an hour, you already have steps in place. Of course, we're going to help you as as yeah. your agent as well. Right. But um, that just, I think that that just gives you as a talent a little extra edge too because yeah. it's going to yeah. make everything, in promo, the pace is so yeah. fast. It's going to yeah. make everything kind of yeah. move along just a little bit. Exactly. Easier. And it's yeah. going to make you feel more comfortable working yeah. with that talent because you know that they're responsible. Oh, mm-hmm. and if we have a fast turnaround, we yeah. won't, give them the opportunity because we we don't have time exactly. right, to deal right. with the po- potential what we know disasters. Might have. Yes, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> the, um, We're playing charades. Yeah, yeah. sounds like <laughs> I like it. Yeah, potential <laughs> disaster. We're good at this. So obviously, I mean, your roster is glorious. You have some of the, the best in the business on the roster um, and some of the most gracious, grateful, humble people. But I am sure over the years, you have had people that possibly taste a bit of success and start believing their own hype. And how does that go for you guys? I mean, who gets to make that call? Hmm. Sometimes I look at my job as managing expectations. Mm-hmm. And and sometimes you just can't. Right. You can suggest to an actor that they... This is a, a Monday through Friday, 9 to 6. We expect you to be available. And mm-hmm. if we've taken bookings for you or avails for you, we expect you to honor that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, sometimes, um, maybe because of the nature of Los Angeles and driving around, or I don't know what it is, but there are times when, oh, that time's just not convenient for me. Can you please move it? Yeah. And I no, mm. I can't. Someone else can be available. And they're going to miss out on the opportunity. Yeah. Well, no, because truthfully, if they press me, I'm going to make them. Ah, you're shutting up all them now. Don't now play we your know cards. Yeah. Soft. But I don't want to. She's a yeah. soft. And I will remember it. Yes. So right. that, yes. that, you know, if you, you want to be reliable. And Jess said it earlier that you want to say 
Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, you want to say yes? Yes. And oh, this is what I wanted to say earlier that ah! I forgot. When I was a younger person and <laughs> um, think, making my way in the world, I made a rule to myself that I would always have a current passport because mm. I never, and I had never used it, but I never wanted someone to say, Can you go mm. to Paris with me? And I, no, I'm sorry, I, I can't because I don't have a passport. Mm -hmm. So eliminate any. Thing in the way yes. to say yes. yes. I love that. It's fantastic, mm -hmm. and that's so good. And that that encompasses so many things. Yes. But think about them. Make a list and get yes. all those things off the list. But what are some mm -hmm. reasons why someone gets passed on? Legitimate reasons. Yeah. Well, because their expectation doesn't match what we think we can do for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. And. And that isn't any disrespect to them. It's that right. what they want, we don't think we can do it for them. Right. So rather than the disappointment, mm -hmm. the disappointing, you're going to say no. Um, there's also been a few times where someone has come to a meeting forgetting to tell us that they already have representation mm. Oops. under a current contract. Really? And we won't poach. And we won't take somebody that isn't free to... Terminate the relationship yeah. with, right, with right. their I agent. I can't imagine that. People yeah, do that kind of they stuff. They do, and and it's like they're they're fishing to see. Well, what if? Could I? Yeah. Could I? Yeah. But that's such a waste of our time. I love how you guys are throwing out these little hints out mm -hmm. there, but I'm pointing them all out. <laughs> little uh, croutons. I know. By the way, I have a whole bunch of questions here, and we haven't even gotten to those. <laughs> These are just questions we came up with. Bring it well, on. I, I think I think many people want to know. Did you guys? Did each of you know that you always wanted to be an agent? How did? Yeah. How did you yeah. arrive at this place? I I was pre law. I thought I was headed to law school. I always had an an interest in entertainment, and mm -hmm. I thought in pursuing law, I would I would end up in entertainment law or intellectual property, something uh -huh. along those lines. Um, but I, when I graduated undergrad, I started working at a law firm. I clerked for a few years mm -hmm. and they, it was a wonderful firm, lots of wonderful people, but I, there was just something about the, the day to day of being an attorney that I, I wasn't so sure that I was ready to make the commitment right. to, mm -hmm. to going to law school and, and following that path. So, um, but with my interest in entertainment, I thought, well, maybe I should look into that. So I, Moved to like Los literally, Angeles. you said I should look into becoming an, an agent. Just no, entertainment. just oh. something in entertainment. I see something in entertainment. So I I moved uh, or was planning to move to Los Angeles and started applying for any any opening in the entertainment industry that I could find personal assistants, um, managers, production companies, and I landed a position at a, a voiceover casting company in LA and. That was the first time that I even discovered that there was an mm -hmm. entire industry that supported mm -hmm. voiceover. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And really just learned a lot and kind of fell in love with the people and, and the business. And I really loved casting. Um, and so one of the things that I loved about working at the casting company was talking with the agents. And I thought well, this might be a good way to incorporate all the creative things that I love about mm -hmm. casting and all of the the business side, um, you know, and, and contract negotiation that I love yeah. about mm -hmm. being in, in law. And um, so I was really fortunate and landed a, an interview at SBV and I started as a promo assistant for Mary mm -hmm. Ellen Lord. It's still awesome. a promo Mary agent, Love Mary a wonderful Ellen. partner. Who's probably yes. watching right now. Hi, Mary hi, Ellen. Hi, Mary Ellen. Ellen. You cannot <laughs> not say hi to her. And, um, and yeah, started at SVV and, and became an agent there. Yeah. That's so and great. What a now. cool story, I've man. been there for uh, 13 years. Yeah. Yay. Amazing. Congrats. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. So what about you, Cynthia? Did you, did you dream? Dear diary, I want to be an agent. <laughs> oh, no, I wanted to be a rock star. She wanted to be a rock star. Uh -huh. I can't sing. But I've always fantasized about being that rock chick up there. But oh. no. So you I was are a rock star. Born and raised here yeah. in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and I didn't know anybody in the industry except when I was in junior high. Hoss Cartwright's daughter went to my junior high. 
because most of Los Angeles does not revolve around the industry. So mm. I didn't know anything about it. And I was just taking jobs. So in my 20s, I was working for a heating and air conditioning company. Of course, yes. As we do. As yes. we all did. Yes. <laughs> and I had accounting skills. I knew how to run a calculator. And that company, through no fault of my own, was going bankrupt. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and a woman that had been my boss there yeah. was the uh, um, office manager at... Uh, a talent agency, and this was in 1982. And so she um, told, called me and said, we need someone to handle P through Z, talent payment for P through Z. Went, okay. So I didn't know anything what I was doing, but yeah. I got the job yeah. because I knew numbers. And yeah. she knew my work ethic, and she was a mentor of mine. So I got the job, and um, I did that for about a year. And this is before computers, so every oh check goodness. that came in, I took the check and I had my ledger and I had my SAG after, no, SAG codes or after codes because they hadn't merged yet. Right. Yeah, that's right. And I take the check, okay, class A, number one through seven, that's the right amount of money. Next. And wow. I did that for about a year and then an opening there for an on-camera commercial assistant, so I took that. I did that for about a year. And then, um, two years, yeah. And then... Um, Another agency needed uh, an agent, and I had proven that I knew enough that I could be an agent. Yeah. yeah. So I got that job, and then uh, I did that for a while. I've been at SBB since '92, and it's my fourth agency. Mm -hmm. But um, I didn't know that this even existed. And at first, for the first few years. I didn't know that I wanted it as a career. Right. It really was sort of a job at the beginning first. Yeah. You mean while you were doing it, you didn't know that you really wanted yes. to do it? Yeah. Yes. Um, I was conflicted because it didn't feel important enough. You know, I wanted to do big things. And then I realized that as a result of my efforts, people's dreams were coming mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. They weren't my dreams, but I'm married to an actor and he helped me see that. Yeah. And I love what I do yeah. because uh, not just helping dreams come true, but we do, but also watching a career grow and, and watching children ha having their babies and buying their homes. And I just, I love it. But people don't know that there's such a job. There's no place right. to learn it. You learn yeah. it by doing, by right. being. I was telling Jess when we were on the way over here, I'm a UCLA alumni and they'll have alumni night and they'll invite us to come and, and we'll sit in this big room and then the students can come and talk to us and they never want to talk to me about being an agent <laughs> they want to talk to me about getting into voiceover <laughs> but no you should want to be in but they don't <laughs> and, and that's why you're here because, because that's you know all why because they about. think it's not important enough <laughs> it might be yeah. but it's truly wonderful yeah absolutely do you, you know think that, I, I just want to ahead, i'm yeah. sorry but i just want to yeah. say this because you know, I've had the chance through the years to meet and work with so many agents, and I love what you guys do. I mean, because you guys have this job that nobody else has, and you do so many things to make things happen behind the scenes that you, people don't even know that you do. That's so but true. The, it's very, very true. But the, one of the coolest things that you guys have, almost all of the, the agents that I know have this, passion for what you do. Mm. You love helping and doing and seeing those lives mm -hmm. being built and those Guiding. dreams being yeah. created mm -hmm. and you actually love yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to ask like what are what are misconceptions people have about being an agent? Cuz mm -hmm. I think people have this perception of oh, my agent does this or they do that. What do you think people are getting wrong about it that they don't understand? I think you'd have to ask actors that cuz I, yeah. I don't know how many uh, Actors are going to be forthcoming about that. But because I'm married to an actor and I'll come home crushed or disappointed about something mm -hmm. or flying high as a kite because of a wonderful negotiation, you yeah. know, the, and I've got to, you know, got to talk about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we have a 15-minute rule because mm -hmm. his eyes start to glaze over. <laughs> and, and 
And he says, oh, I wish, I wish your actors knew how hard you worked for them because he sees it. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I know Jess is the same. Sometimes I'll wake up at two in the morning and go, oh, I forgot, I forgot yes. to do that. And yes. I'll wake up and I'll write it down. But you don't see these things. Yeah. No. We don't call you and tell you how we spent our day. No. Right. A huge part of the way I spend my day, if if I'm not emailing you or on the phone with you, is hunting down contracts, <laughs> but also making sure that I, I read deadline, I read people, I read all, everything to make sure that if something's going on, we know about it, mm -hmm. and then try to find who's casting it. Yeah. I mean, that's not all that I do, but it's yeah. a big part of my day yeah. is doing that and helping actors with their bios or their demos or, yeah. you know, guidance, stuff like that. Yeah. And... I spend a lot of time because I'm really detail oriented, um, it, reading through the codes. Yeah. Can I just say something about you? Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. Yeah. Um, when I've worked with you on some of your clients animation demos and we send it back to you, you make more notes than any other agent on the <laughs> planet. I mean, you are so specific with mm -hmm. every single spot. Take that out, we don't need it. Add this, because we need that, mm -hmm. and I want that third. And I mean, it's just like a list like this of like exact mm -hmm. notes on, on what you want. I am so opinionated. Great. But, yeah. but the thing, I know, but it's, it goes beyond the opinion, it agrees because the with thing you. is, why do you want it to be so good? Because you want that actor to have the best possible, mm -hmm. Oh, right? it breaks my heart if it's not. Take, so thank yeah. you for doing that. I, yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so important. And then it's a lot of actors don't take the advice. And oh, you asked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't make her whimper. Don't make ask if you don't want. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's a pet peeve, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's number three on the list, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, that concludes part one with the awesome Cynthia and Jessica from SPV Talent LA. Yes. And thanks for watching, you guys. Follow all of us on social and just remember. You, you always, always have, have time, time for a little buzz. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. Leo Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voice of a demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.